This is Fred Beck from Fred Joyce Fighting, proudly sponsored by Empire Fight Store. I'm joined at Rapper and Boxing Gym today by George Mitchell. George, it's nice to meet you, mate. How have you been? Not bad, mate, not bad. So tell me, George, obviously a lot of people watching this won't know who you are just yet. Tell me a bit about yourself and your boxing journey so far. Amateur career, I was three-time national champion, 66 fights, 60 wins. Turned pro now, I'm 3-0 with one knockout, fighting on the 14th of, 14th of May. Sounds like got a plan there, but what, so you only lost six times in 66 fights? Six times in 66 fights, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't sound too shabby as well. In what, what age did you start boxing, in the age of eight? I started at eight, yeah, and then obviously built my way up. That sounds pretty good then. In tour, you've got your fight date, it's on the Dean White card, I'm correct in saying, isn't it? Yeah, the Dean White show, it's on the Money Heist, it's his third show. I was on the first one as well, that's on the 14th of May, and I've got another one on the, the 4th of June as well, so two straight off. How good is that, obviously, coming up after lockdown? How good does that feel, just kind of be staying active? Yeah, it's good. I want to stay as active as I can. Like, hopefully, after these two, I want to try and get um, like another two in. So that's, I've had, hopefully, five this year. I've had one so far, so I didn't get another four, and hopefully, that's what I'm going to try anyway. How have you kind of planned for your professional career to go in the first few years? James, you look for, move fast? <sighs> some people do, some people don't. I'm just going to just keep building my way up. Get this year out of the way, then next year, go for it. The next year, kind of the English title, British title, that sort of thing. Hopefully, yeah, that's what I'm going to aim for anyway. Get this year out of the way first, and yeah. And obviously, you're training here at Daily Paralysis. What's that like having him as a trainer? Yeah, great. I've been with Daily for around two years now. I've improved a lot. Great training. Everyone's in, it's just good training all the time. Obviously, you've probably been around a few other trainers. How's Daily different to the other coaches you've been around? I don't know, really. Everyone always asks me. We just. We bond, we bond more. He's, everyone gets, He's a straight up guy, he tells it kind of how it is. If, if, you, if you ain't good enough, he'll tell you. That's like when I first got with him, he went, you got a one day troll. So if, if I weren't good enough, he would have fucked me straight up to the gym. So. He doesn't sugarcoat anything, that's what's good about daily. You kind of say it is. So if you're, not, if you're on weight, then it's perfect. He'll tell you you're on weight. If you're not on weight, then you've got a little bit of trouble. But you're down here, you've been training with King Kenny and Deji. What's that been like? Yeah, it's good, it's good for the experience, like all the cameras and that. Like when they first come, it just gets used to all different kind of stuff. Like the fan base they have is always mad. It's like the cameras in the gym. It gets used to all different kind of stuff. It's good though. Do you like that kind of YouTube boxing scene? I know you're obviously you're a pro boxer, but what do you think of that YouTube boxing? I don't bother me. I think it does boxing good. Gets more people involved and more of the fans. Like even when they built my fan base up, like my Instagram and that, shot me up like 500,000 followers. So I'm not complaining. Yeah, certainly. It gives you guys a lot more exposure, which is a good thing, obviously, for selling tickets and obviously sponsors. But are you people can people buy tickets for your fight yet? Not yet. I'm going to pick them up on the weekend. So hopefully I'll put it out on my Instagram today and get the tickets out. Awesome. Where people find you on Instagram, social media wise, and I'll contact you? George Mitchell. Dot, no, George Mitchell 06. Dot, I think that is. I'm sure it is. I'll put the link in for it for the description anyway. But George, thanks for the time, mate. That's perfect. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.